Uh, Jake, I want to start with you. You're the perfect person to help us understand the dynamics at play here. So walk us through, if you would, how we got to this point, and now what happens from here in the House? Pretty simple, Willie. Um, Kevin McCarthy, during his January run for speaker, was forced by the right to lower the threshold for the motion of vacate. It used to be, oh, it was in, in the Democratic uh, control of Congress that only the leader of a party could bring that motion. McCarthy was forced to, to, to have anyone bring it and lower the threshold to one. He had wanted five or ten. I can't exactly remember what number at this point. Um, and uh, effectively, the right said, well, hopefully we'll never do it. We don't ever plan to do it. They did it. So that's where we, that, you know, this was only a matter of time. This was always going to happen um, over some issue. And you could say what you want to say about Matt Gates. And we wrote this last night. And he didn't offer any sort of um, salve for the institution or grand plan or anything like that. He took advantage of a narrow Republican majority, some discontent with McCarthy, and pushed him out. So that's how we got here. Now, um, what's next? I, I have a very hard time seeing at this moment, sitting here now, knowing all the players and having covered them for more than a decade, that uh, any of these folks are going to get 218. Uh, that's not to say they won't. That's to say at this point on uh, this Wednesday morning, it's going to be a very, very high hurdle to get to 218 for Steve Scalise or anybody else who wants to seek the speakership. Now, we're a week away, and in leadership races, uh, uh, incumbents have a huge advantage because they have speed, they have operations, and they know where to go to get votes. But I don't know who the next speaker is going to be, and I think everybody, all of them, are going to have a very difficult time getting there. Which raises the question, Jake, where that leaves us. And yep. will this rule remain in place that one member can raise the motion to vacate the chair, thereby wielding extraordinary power, as Matt Gates uh, exhibited over the last couple of days, even though he's a group of, what, 12, 15 members, to change the leadership in the House of Representatives? Do you think that rule stays in place for the next speaker, whoever that is? I don't. Not if they have guts. Um, you know, listen, to change the House rules, you need 218 votes. This is a House rule, not a conference rule. This is a House rule uh, that the House has to abide by. So whoever the next speaker is, whether they decide to take it to the right or, or, or um, uh, cater to the right, we'll have to make that decision. But there are a lot of people, I can tell you, a lot of people, New York Republicans, the majority makers of this uh, House Republican majority, who don't want it to stay. And I think that there's going to be an incredible push from a lot of those folks to cut away at this one person motion to vacate. But listen, the right sees it as a way to hold their leadership accountable. And I think uh, uh, a future speaker won't make that mistake, to be honest with you.